Well, good morning again. It is Thursday, March 19th, and we'd like to start our day as we did yesterday, uh, going to our Lord in devotion and prayer, uh, and just joining together as his people as we start off the day in the only way we can. So we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I'd like to begin with uh, a number of select Psalms, and so I pray that you're able to join with me as we confess our sins and confess how much we need our Heavenly Father through these morning Psalms. I cry to you, O Lord, in the morning my prayer comes before you. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a willing spirit. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. By awesome deeds you answer us with righteousness. O God of our salvation, the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. He redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. And together, once again, we have an opportunity to confess our faith, and today we'll confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And at this time, let's pray. We thank you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept us this night from all harm and danger. And we pray that you would keep us this day also from sin and every evil, that all our doings and lives may please you. For into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies and souls and all things. Let your holy angel be with us, that the evil foe may have no power over us. Amen. The psalm I've chosen for this morning to focus on is one that we really spent time focusing on back in September here at St. John's as we went through the Red Letter Challenge, and part of that challenge was on being still. And we take our words from Scripture today from Psalm chapter 46, where it says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, Though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though the waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in her midst, and she will not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. The nations rage, the kingdoms totter. He utters his voice, the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us, the God of Jacob is our fortress. Come, behold the works of the Lord, how he has brought desolations on the earth. He makes war cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the chariots with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. You know, as I mentioned, we went through that passage back in September of uh, this past fall, and we had that opportunity to focus on what it means to be still, and, and I always kind of laugh every time I go through this because I honestly know that this is a big challenge in my life. Uh, I have a real difficult time being still, and now in these days uh, where we're taught to be still, to sit still, to stay put, I really struggle with that. I always want to be on the go. I always have plans to do this or to do that. But you know what? Uh, I can see blessings in this. I know it's not a great time for a lot of people, and it's difficult for all of us. 
and there are going to be challenges that come with everything that's happening right now in our world and in our lives. But I think it's always great to hear our Lord remind us, be still. It's okay. You can just stay put for a little while because no matter what, I am with you. I am your God. I am the God of Jacob, which means I am the God who sent my son Jesus Christ into this world for you. I pray that we're all able to be still and rest in the assurance of that great truth that again, God is with us and our Savior has come and he truly knows everything that is going on. Would you join me in prayer? Gracious God, Heavenly Father, as we begin this day, we do it in your name. And Lord, we would ask that you would help us, encourage us, teach us to be still, to be in your presence, to be able to slow down and listen to you. Lord, I would ask that you would do that in all of our lives. Give us patience, give us peace, and just lay your compassion and caring hands upon all of us today. And may we use whatever opportunities you present before us to not only demonstrate what it means to be in your presence, to be still, but to also be your church, to realize that the church is not a place as in a building, but you have chosen us to be your church. You've chosen us in which to dwell. May people see in us our great and precious Savior, Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. And together we pray the prayer our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now receive the blessing of our Lord as you go about your day today. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Have a great day.